Hi, Kit Davy here. Today I would like to show you how to make a really fun book out of envelopes. So this book consists of a ribbon closure, two covers made out of matte board and some paper, and then a series of eight envelopes that are linked together by gluing the flaps one after another. These are the tools you'll need to make the book. First off, a ruler, then a pair of scissors, a brush, and some wet glue. You could use Elmer's or PVA, Yes Glue, Mod Podge, and a bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, you can use a dinner knife that you turn over to the dull side to uh, make creases. The components that you need for this book are some matte board, which we'll cut to size, and I'll show you how to do that, and eight envelopes. I made my envelopes, but you can use pre-made envelopes. And then you'll also need paper, so you need eight envelopes, either ones that you make yourself by uh, downloading a uh, template from the internet and then tracing out the envelopes and creating them, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Or you can use um, pre-made envelopes that you glue together. And then to cover your covers, you need paper that's big enough uh, to wrap around so your covers. And then for the closure, you'll need a length of ribbon. And uh, for this one here, I used about 20 inches of a 1 8 inch wide ribbon, but I could use, I could have used quarter inch wide ribbon too. If you're going to make the book with these larger envelopes, you can use a wider ribbon, anything from half an inch to an inch wide for the closure. So my example book is made with envelopes that I made myself, and all linked together. And I use different kinds of paper that I had uh, laying around. So what I did was I printed out a template from the internet and I reduced it to the size that I wanted. Then I put it, I cut out the uh, squares and put it on top of my squares and cut out the little triangles on each side. And I did that for all eight different pieces of paper that I'm going to use uh, as envelopes. And I decided to use a variety of neutral tone papers uh, for this book. Um, and I'll show you how I folded these uh, envelopes once I cut out the shapes using uh, my template. So in order to know where to fold, I am going to use my bone folder and score from triangle tip to triangle tip all the way around. And I'll do that for all of uh, the papers that I'm going to use as an envelope. I'm folding in three of the flaps. And I'm going to be gluing using my wet glue here and here. And I'll press it down like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and crease that top one too. So I will construct eight envelopes just like that. Once I've scored all my envelopes, I can fold them. And then use my glue to 
glue them closed. The next part of making our book involves gluing the envelopes together. So I'm going to put some glue on this triangular part of the envelope and attach it to the back of the second envelope. And in anticipation of that, I have put my envelopes in the order that I want them to appear in my book. If you're using pre-made envelopes, all you have to do is put glue on this section and then glue that to the back of the bottom of the next envelope and so on. So you have a long chain of these pre-made envelopes. Okay, so now I have eight envelopes and I folded them in zigzag or an accordion style, starting with the left hand side going down and to the right and then just continuing to make a zigzag. I had to create another envelope because I only had seven. So um, here it is. And now what we need to do is just trim off this last flap. We won't be using it. Okay, so now we have our accordion book made with uh, homemade envelopes. And what we'll be doing next is creating a cover for um, our book, like this one. This one has a, a hard cover on um, the front and the back. And uh, what I did was I took the uh, block of cards and put it on a piece, a larger piece of mat board and traced around the edges and cut out a piece of mat board approximately the same size, maybe a little bit larger than my stack of um, envelopes. So I need two of those. And then we also need paper to cover the paper or excuse me, the covers. And that piece of paper should be, oh, half an inch or, or so, all the way around larger, so that we there will be enough paper to wrap it around um, the outside of, of the uh, mat board. So here is how you cover the mat board covers. So I'm gonna take my glue and spread it on the mat board, not the paper, and I'm going to try to get an even coat. Do it Goldilocks style, not too much and not too little. And then I'm going to press it down on top of the paper that I'm going to use. Pretty much centered. And then I'm going to rub it on the other side to get out any bubbles or creases. Then I'll use my scissors to angle in toward each one of the corners, leaving a tiny little bit between the mat board and the paper I just cut. We want to leave just a little tiny bit. We don't want to go all the way to those to the corner. And then I'm going to add glue to two parallel sides. and wrap the paper on those sides. And then here, where there's just a little bit extra, I'm gonna push in with my thumb, my thumbnail, kind of wrap around the point, do that on both sides. Okay, and then I'm gonna add glue to the remaining two sides.
And if it's a little too pointy and I don't like it, I can just take the edge of my scissors and tap it, smooth it around. And that's how you wrap your covers and you'll do the same thing with the other one. So now it's time to add the tie and like for the example that I made, there's a tie that gets wrapped around to keep the book from flopping open. So I look at my covers and I think I want this one to be the front and we're going to be applying the ribbon to the back panel of our book. So I'll put a little bead of glue here, try to figure out where the middle is. And then I'll take my ribbon and center it across the back. And then I'm going to be attaching my envelopes. So this is the last envelope. This is where I cut off one of the um, flaps. And this is the front. So the last envelope is going to go on the cover the back cover. So I'm going to add my glue. And I'm going to do my best to center it over the cover. And I can see my folds weren't perfect, but that's okay. okay and I'm going to open it up and give it a few rubs. And then I'm going to do the same for the front cover. So if you're using uh, pre-made envelopes and you've glued them all in succession and folded an accordion, you can use mat board the same way that uh, I showed you with the handmade ones. You just trace the outline of uh, the cards, or excuse me, the envelopes, and use your X-Acto knife, or if you've got a sturdy paper cutter, cut that out. Use uh, the one you cut out as a template, and then you cover it the same way, and you also, um, that, I, that I showed you for the smaller envelope, uh, and then you also use the ribbon the same way, but for these larger envelopes like this, um, you're probably going to want to use a wider ribbon and a longer um, uh, section of it on either side to make sure you've got enough to tie a bow. Thank you for joining me today in making a book out of either your own handmade envelopes or the pre-made envelopes. You can have fun putting things inside uh, each one of the envelopes, ticket stubs or photos, and this also makes a great gift. So I hope to see you uh, in one of my live classes. Uh, feel free to visit my website and see what I have to offer. Thank you.